acceptable. For £1,000, we got a 13-year-old Hilux diesel, which had done 190,000 miles. And judging by the state of it, only 10 of them had been done on the road. We love cars like this on Top Gear. They're simple, honest to God engineering. So we've got to find out how tough it is. Now this, I want to make it plain, is not Hollywood. We're not using stuntmen. We're not going to use any computer graphics. We haven't made any mechanical alterations to the car at all. We just picked it up from the farmyard and brought it here. A bit uncomfortable. This didn't really hurt it either. Yeah, battery's good, radiator's good. I'll buff out. What's happened? This is home to the second biggest tide in the world. 40 feet, and it moves at eight miles an hour. I'm not gonna get that out for hours. Damn, damn, damn. Locals thought it was all a huge laugh. So that's going to drown my car. Oh yes. Well, when will I be able to get it out again? If you ask. The ropes tying it down had snapped. It could be out in the It could be right in the main channel. You may never see it ever again. The silt had jammed the steering lock and the cylinders were flooded with seawater. Well, the uh, mechanic has worked on it now for 40 minutes or so, I think. And uh, it's not looking good. Um, wrong. I do not believe it! The problem is, what can we do here? that we haven't already tried. Ah, bit undignified, but here we go. It's used to fell skyscrapers, but look what happens when you thump it into the car. Well, the day thou gavest, Lord, is ended, but sadly, the car isn't. It survived trial by water, it survived trial by Bristol and trial by caravan, but now it must face the most difficult trial of them all. Trial by fire. That was phenomenal. You probably won't believe this, ladies and gentlemen. I want a huge round of applause. It is still working! before he's not allowed spare parts and he can only use basic tools. 